Cast your mind back 12 months to the Honor View 10. As good as that phone was, it's not really what you'd call interesting. The design was kind of dull, the camera wasn't great, there wasn't a whole lot to set it apart besides the price. It really felt like a no-frills handset. In these most important of areas, the Honor View 20 could not be more different. It's still an affordable flagship living in the same general space as the OnePlus 6T, but a luxurious new glass design, a futuristic hole punch display, and a legitimately great 48 megapixel camera make this a much more exciting product. Take a second to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll jump into our full review. From both the front and the back, the Honor View 20 is strikingly beautiful. On the rear, the unique laser-etched V-pattern paints the back panel in a dazzling dance of chevrons that flicker as the phone tilts through the light. I've been using the View 20 in Phantom Red here, which I definitely think is the more beautiful of the three colours. There's also a Phantom Blue and a Black, which shows off with a rainbow effect in its V-pattern. In any colour though, this is a beautiful eye-catching phone. One unusual thing you may notice around the back is the presence of a traditional capacitive fingerprint scanner instead of in-screen fingerprint. Considering the very mixed performance of current in-screen fingerprint technology though, I'm absolutely fine with that. You've also got your single 48 megapixel camera module up top, plus Honor's new 3D time of flight depth sensor. Around the front is where this phone really looks its most futuristic though. We're going to see countless Android phones with hole punch displays in 2019, but Honor is the first to bring this design to the West. So there's no notch. Instead, the speaker grille lives in the border between the screen and the metal frame, the ambient light sensor has been moved to the top bezel, and the camera appears through a 45mm hole in the screen. A lot of unique engineering work has gone into getting all this to work right with an LCD panel, and the technology to do this is quite a bit different from what Samsung is doing with its OLED-based hole punch displays right now. It's a step closer to the futuristic ideal of an all-display smartphone. The only part of the View 20's front panel that could reasonably be described as a bezel is the chin area. Even that is only a scant few millimetres taller than the other screen borders. The panel itself is a 6.4-inch Full HD Plus LCD, maybe a little disappointing there if you're hoping for 2K, but Honor's panel provides bright, punchy colours and white balance controls in the software for manual tweaking. And the panel's max brightness made it clear enough to use even under the bright Nevada sun here. On the inside, Honor takes the core specs of the Huawei Mate 20 series with a proven 7 nanometer Kirin 980 chip at the heart of this phone. That's paired with ample memory and storage, 6 plus 128 or 8 plus 256, and a reassuringly hefty 4000 mAh battery. So in terms of the numbers, there's nothing left wanting here. The only major feature missing from the View 20's impressive spec sheet is official water resistance. Much like the OnePlus 6T, there's no IP rating listed here, so you'll instead have to make do with a phone that is only splash resistant. And while we're talking hardware compromises, the V20's haptic motor is also pretty bad. Vibration feedback from the phone feels soft and mushy in contrast to the sharper taps that you get from a Pixel or an iPhone. Perhaps that's why vibration feedback for on-screen keys is disabled by default in the View20 software. Often buying a more affordable phone means having to deal with a second-class camera, but that's really not the case in the View 20. This is the first phone to hit the West with Sony's new IMX586 48 megapixel sensor. It's a major milestone in terms of sheer resolution, but the reasons to care about this camera go beyond the impressive megapixel count. Using a pixel bending technique similar to the P20 Pro and Mate 20 Pro, the phone spits out 12 megapixel images by default, combining four pixels on the sensor into one in the resulting image. Honor's AR shooting mode, first seen on the Honor 10, is also on board, in part just to impress you with its object and scene recognition. Even with the AI disabled, I was really impressed with the dynamic range and the clarity of pictures from the View 20's camera, even if some highlight details were over brightened a little, and colour balance was a little on the warm side for my tastes. Many of the photo tweaks made by Honor's AI mode though are genuinely pleasing to behold, like the slight saturation bump given to food pictures, or the vignette effect added to portrait shots. It also managed to do all of this without making photos look overcooked. Speaking of portraits, I can't say I found the View 20's depth detection features to be markedly better than any of its rivals, even with the much-hyped TOF sensor flanking the main camera. Overall, it was the same mixed bag that I've seen in portrait modes from countless Android phones over the years. 
The handheld long exposure night mode is back too. And on the V20, it closely resembles the same modes from the P20 and Mate 20 series in both how it works and the shots that it produces. Hold still for a few seconds and the phone uses its AI to counter hand motion and brighten the shot. Video quality from the View 20 has also been surprisingly great, with the inbuilt AI stabilization doing a fantastic job of smoothing out motion from handheld pans and walking shots. Though this does result in some motion blurring in darker indoor scenes. Nevertheless, video from the View 20 is very impressive, especially considering the mixed results I've seen from the Huawei Mate 20 Pro in that area. Selfie performance, on the other hand, from that in-display 25 megapixel sensor largely depends on where you're taking your photos. Like many sub-flagship selfie cameras, quality degrades rapidly in darker indoor conditions like bars and restaurants, though in these cases it's predominantly the backgrounds that appear grainier as opposed to the subjects. If you really want to show off though, you want to dive into the settings and look at the 48 megapixel AI Ultra Clarity Mode. This is the best way to take advantage of the sheer resolution on offer in that new Sony sensor. Similar to night mode, ultra clarity takes a few seconds to capture and process, but in the end you're left with a far superior image in terms of sharpness. You can just keep zooming and zooming for more detail, it's pretty amazing. The extra time required to take these 48 megapixel photos means it's probably not going to be your everyday shooting mode, nevertheless it's hard not to be impressed by it. As Honor's phones become more differentiated from Huawei, it's also rebranding its software experience. And so out of the box, the Honor View 20 runs version 2.0.1 of the Magic UI. Right now, Magic UI is pretty much just EMUI 9 with a fresh coat of paint. In future, Honor says it intends for Magic UI to become more differentiated from EMUI, but it's not yet clear exactly how that'll work. As such, many of the core traits of EMUI still apply to Magic UI. Heavy iOS design influences, aggressive background app management, a ton of features, and aesthetics that sit a little uneasily next to Google's vision of Android. Magic UI is not the prettiest Android skin, but it is fast, usable, and mostly inoffensive. You've got Huawei's full screen gesture navigation system if that's your thing. Personally, I prefer the on screen keys. And hey, looks like Honor has actually improved the janky task switching animation from the Mate 20 Pro, which is nice to see. One thing you can almost guarantee with a Huawei or Honor phone is excellent battery life, and with a 4000 mAh cell built in, the View 20 is no exception. In both trade show duties at CES 2019 and in everyday use outside the show, the View 20 ranks as one of the all-time best I've used. I could easily push 7 hours of screen on time, and I never had to worry about the phone dying in less than a full day, no matter how much I threw at it. On lighter days, depending on your usage patterns, this could absolutely be a two-day phone. For quick refills, the View 20 supports Huawei's 225 watt supercharging solution. That's the older version of Supercharge, not the new 40 watt version from the Mate 20 Pro, but it's still pretty quick. The Honor View 20 delivers just about everything you could reasonably expect from a less expensive flagship phone, while benefiting from a design with more flair than its predecessor. With its unique lustrous back panel design and hole punch display, it also offers a glimpse of the future for significantly less than the competition. There are still a few things you don't get in a less expensive flagship like a QHD display, true water resistance, wireless charging, but none of these are deal breaking omissions and it's tough to fault the overall package that Honor offers here. That's particularly true of the camera which outperforms the OnePlus 6T and comes close to offering photos of the same quality of the Mate 20 Pro's main camera. It's one of the best affordable flagships you can buy right now, and for that reason it's earned itself an enthusiastic recommendation. That's it for now, be sure to check out our full written review over on the site, and subscribe here on YouTube so you don't miss our future coverage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.